Let's welcome our next fighter out of the red corner, uh, Ty Samaniego. Ty Samaniego out of the red corner for another welterweight bout here at EFN 21. And Christian, Samaniego is well trained, isn't he? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's, you know, quote unquote debuting, but this is a veteran <laughs> of the scene by, you know, just by what he's experienced in the gym. And how about what he's probably experienced at his home? This is the brother of Bo Samaniego, who's a, who's a you know, a, a mixed martial artist right now, who's absolutely making a name for himself in the professional MMA scene. And this is the this is the guy that had a you know that had to share the had to share the backyard with him. He's <laughs> not afraid to scrap as he comes to us out of a really tough gym in Gilbert Grappling, training his boxing over at Talon's Boxing Academy, which a lot of these G2 guys do. They get their hands right, they get their grappling right, and then they come out here and they put, you know, they put it all together inside the cage. Yeah, again, coming out of Gilbert's, uh, again, it's no secret what kind of fighters come out of Gilbert's. And being Bo's brother, having two little ones that just beat the crap out of each other, I guarantee you they did the same thing growing up. So they've been training, not just MMA, but they've been training their whole life, probably just beating the crap out of each other. It's, yeah, it's been a, it's been a, yeah, life, I, I, a life of fighting. I think training. their training might have started fighting over toys or fighting over a blanket at about two, three years old. <laughs> Absolutely, and, and you know what? That, that that creates some of the toughest human beings on the planet. Yeah, very excited to see this debut because it's it's been long awaited. I mean, you know, when I'm going down the rabbit hole, you know, doing my research, I'm seeing pictures of him training just years and years and years in the gym with these guys like Bo, with guys like Scuba Steve, guys like Jose Perez. You know, he's been the training partner for the most elite athletes around. Let's see what he can do tonight. And now let's welcome fighting out of the blue corner, Trent Krieger. He's gonna go up against Trent Griha out of the Imazaki Dojo in downtown Chicago, Christian. Yeah, you know, I talked about, you know, you know what it means to be a training partner in the Gilbert Grappling Gym, but let's talk about Griha. He is the main sparring partner for Seijo Imazaki, who we have in our main event tonight. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape here, brought to you by El Popo Tortillas. This welterweight bout features two Illinois natives Samaniego a little bit, giving up a couple inches to Kriha on the height, making his debut fight, or as you said, is it really his debut? I mean, I guess officially, yes, but he's got the experience, right? Yeah, exactly. He's been there and done that, just not under the bright lights just yet. But there's something to be said for being under the bright lights for the first time. Let's see if all that, you know, that experience in the gym will translate here inside the EFN cage. Yeah, some, sometimes, sometimes you feel like you're ready, but you don't ever know if you're really ready until you're there. Until right. you're there standing across the cage from another human being that's ready to punch you in the face, you don't know that you're ready. I'm gonna be willing to bet that Ty is, but we're fixing to find out. Again, you have Trent Korea coming out of the Imazaki Dojo, and that is the product of Seijo Imazaki, who's in our main event tonight, going up against Volante 300 Atsis. Yeah, we talked about it a little bit earlier, Eddie. You were saying, you know, sometimes these these guys that come with a traditional martial arts background will present a whole nother challenge. And we're going to get to see that with, you know, someone coming out of Imazaki Dojo who's got that more traditional martial arts background. And we're going to see that in Korea tonight. Let's hear from Mike Vale about these two fighters. Let's get the action started. Our next battle is in the welterweight division, scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the birds, hot chicken, red corner. He stands five feet seven inches tall, official weight 169.8 pounds. Representing Gilbert Grappling from Harvey, Illinois. Please welcome Ty Samaniego. And now let's welcome this opponent, fighting out of the Ogoji Resistance Apparel Blue Corner. He stands five feet nine inches tall, official weight 169.5 pounds. Representing Imazaki Dojo from Richton Park, Illinois. Let's welcome Trent Kriha. Kriha gets fired up here. As we get ready for this welterweight brout, brought to you by El Popo Tortillas. El Popo, serving Chicagoland and beyond for over 50 years. Now, guys, we talked about Samaniego's experience. He talked to me beforehand. He said he wants to get his opponent desperate on his feet. Well, we will see. I mean, Kriha coming out of Mizaki, I've seen some of their training footage. 
He's got some really interesting footwork, you know, coming from that martial arts background. 